Hey guys, this is Jessica Poodle, and we are back. Let's play Blue Dragon on hard mode on Xbox 360. Xbox 360. Last time, we uh, beat the blue laser mini game uh, at the end of the third floor, and it was a rat bastard who screwed me out of the cheap once. But then we got it, and uh, yeah, it was a real bastard of a mini game. But we got it. Uh, for getting an S rank, we got the Forbidden Crystals, uh, one of them, which really restores HP and MP to one target, so it's not bad. I mean, I honestly think that the All Heart uh, item that you get is better, the one that raises all your um, all your classes by one level, but yeah, I'm not going to re go to the mini game to get that, so we'll be good with the Forbidden Crystals here. Alright, so now we got to get to the first, uh, the fourth floor, and we got plenty of time. We got 25 minutes, we got time. There's only one type of enemy here, or actually two, but uh, one of the enemies is summoned by the other type. Alright, uh, actually, wait, no, you're not going to get up, are you? I thought there was only one type of enemy here. I think we've already fought these guys, right? Flying against the levels? I think we have. If not, well, they're easy enough. Alright, let me go check that trick, I, I thought we fought these guys already. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we fought these guys a long time ago, actually. Let me see if I can't find them down here. Let's see. Yeah, flying mecha robos. Just in case we haven't fought them already, uh, weak to water, resistant to dark. Uh, steal a poison powder common and steal a light crystal rare. But yeah, we've pretty sure we fought these guys before. Dude, I don't have time. Wait, so he attacked me, and somehow that got us the back attack. Okay. You know, I'm pretty sure you just clobber these guys with the water spell, and that would work out just as well. Need to worry about the uh, water up, uh, water us, uh, whatever. Uh, all right, so let's pop that Fieldberry back on. All right, there's the other, there's the new enemy around here. And here we get the level five erased spell, which gets rid of enemy stat boosts. Uh, then it also gives you the erased sword, which gets rid of enemy stat boosts while doing damage. Uh, the magic sword ability. So that's pretty nice. Okay, these guys right here. These guys are versatile mecha robots, I do believe. No. Where are all the new enemies around here? They're supposed to be here. For some reason it's tossing all these chumps at us. fought all these guys before. I thought there was only the one type of enemy in this floor. I don't really remember these guys being here. Okay. It's not like any of these guys are really all that hard. Oh well. Yeah, the erase, uh, erase magic sword gets rid of enemy stat boost and it gets rid of, uh, or it does physical damage too. So that's pretty nice. I mean, the spell itself is pretty nice, but then the uh, magic sword ability is even nicer. Grill, you guys. Where is that new enemy around here? Eh, I guess I just forgot those chumps existed. Who are you guys? So, yeah, everybody fought you. Alright, here's our other ability for this floor right here, which I do believe is the Extractus ability. There we go. 
the extractor uh, the extractor spell uh, that restores HP and MP, so it combines extract and extract. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Let's see. Oh, shut up. Yeah, absorbs HP and MP, so that's really nice. Alright, here's... This should be the guy I look for. Yeah, versatile mecha Alright, this is what I was looking for. Alright, these guys, they summon... They summon another enemy, so you gotta make sure to not defeat them too fast, otherwise you'll never see that other enemy. And I do believe this is the only place in the game they appear, so you gotta watch out for uh, killing them off too fast. So kill off the guy in the back. Uh, you can, they're weak to water, obviously, resistant to light and dark. Uh, you can steal a light crystal common and a flawless amethyst from a rare. And somehow you're still alive. Alright, that should summon the... Okay, there we go. These are the guys that they summon. Uh, intercept Dynadrones, I hope. Yeah, Intercept Dynadrones. Uh, they're weak to wind and water, resistant to earth, light, and dark. Uh, sleep powder, combat steel, broken eternal engine for a rare steel. Alright, so, I want to go ahead and water this soul of these guys. There you go, man. Yeah, this is the only place that the that the uh, intercept, uh, or the first time I the guy shows up, and they're the only ones that summon these little intercept dinodromes. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get these guys if you're going for these all monsters in the spellbook achievement or whatever it is. I forgot there was more than just these two enemies. I, for some reason, I thought they were the only enemies on here. Maybe I had my field. Maybe I had my field barrier on last time, and I forgot they were here because well, I killed them. That yeah, might have been it. All right, go ahead and how about yeah, how about a quick Sephira? By the way, you don't have to get all these spells here in the fortress. You can get them later, but if you don't get them now, it'll just mean you get them much later. Well, you know what? Screw you guys. Damn it, you're not supposed to release more, you little fuck wad. Oh well, they're weak to win, so it doesn't really matter. On the plus side, I think you get experience for each group to be something. So. There's no other treasure chest on this floor, so let's just get out of here. You are dead, sir. And so are all your other cronies. Alright, luckily, this is a standard boss fight up here, not something cheap and bastardly like the moon lasers. Thankfully.
robot again? We'll bust him up in no time. Did you see that? What? There's a leader. It appears to be controlling all of the other ones. We have to take out the leader. But which one is the leader? All right, now we get to fight the Jumbo Becca Robo, you know, the big guy that ran off with Nanny earlier. All right, so this guy, he's not particularly weak to anything, so, uh, and he's not particularly resistant to anything, so we're just going to clobber him with our strongest spells. Uh, let's go ahead and put up a barrier, though, because that'd be very nice for us. Uh, ooh, what the heck? What is up with this random ass? Alright, there we go. Nice fat barrier for everybody. Reduces some damage. And let's just cover him with everything we got. Uh, if you want to steal from him, he's got a part of Eternal Engine for a comet and an Eternal Engine bracelet for a rare steal, which is actually pretty nice. Let's see if I can't grab that. Uh, you know what? Let's just steal. Let's see if I can't get it. The Eternal Engine bracelet just has a. Uh, ooh, nice. It just has a really fat attack stat, pretty much. Alright, let's go for a Shadow of Sword. So basically, uh, this guy has several, on normal mode, he has something like 100,000 HP, uh, and he probably has closer to 200,000 on, uh, hard mode here. We don't have to, we don't have to kill all of his HP, we just have to, uh, do a couple thousand points of damage, and then a bunch of little robots are gonna pop out, and then we can kill the leader from there, and that ends the boss fight. We just gotta do a lot of damage first. Alright, so let's put a Zephyr up for you guys. And how about a... I'm gonna get attack up for you. Alright, I should get all the three in the front. Why you gotta attack my guys in the back? Though? Why you gotta do that? I'm not a big fan of this angle here. The uh, off to the side angle when I'm casting my spells. Yeah, it's been irritating to me. Alright, uh, let's pop a shadow uh, on you. Actually, let's try our new extract to see how well that works. Uh, he has, he has MP to steal if you want to, so that's nice. But the question is, will it steal? Or how much will it steal? There you go. Yeah, very nice. Alright, now the little guys are going to come out. And we got to figure out which one is the leader, pretty much. So, unfortunately, they don't tell us. So what you gotta do is just attack them all, pretty much. However, they will all counterattack. Everyone that you hit will target you or counterattack you. You gotta watch out for that. But once you defeat the leader, the fight's over. You don't gotta you don't gotta re go through all the. Uh, all the uh, damage you did to him. Let's see if I can get to a spellcaster. And I can just pop the water. By the way, I don't think these guys have any have any uh, MP to steal, so that kind of sucks. All right, let's see if we can get a waterus on somebody here. Thank you. All right, let me see if I can't get a 
ground uh, to attack everybody here. And that'll do a pretty good job of killing most of them. And that should get most of the boss fight done. Alright, so... And as for you... By the way, after a few rounds, they will just uh, go back into the robot. And you'll have to redo the damage to get it back out. But they won't like heal the robot or anything. You just have to go back to the cycle to get you guys back out and try to figure out which one is the leader to kill here. Uh, hopefully this kills... Alright. There we go. Easy enough boss fight. Luckily you don't gotta re luckily we don't gotta do all the damage, that's nice. And there we go, the giant Mecha Robo is gone. Alright, and as for the uh, accessory we got, the bracelet, let's see, let's see, 120 attack and 10 agility versus 165 attack. So yeah, it doesn't have any extra special effects, but it does got a pretty good attack stat. Uh, let me see here, who should I add that to? Maximum HP by 80, no. See, how much will that actually reduce your maximum HP by? That won't even reduce your maximum HP, will it? Will it? Yeah, let's give this to Mar Morrow since, uh, well, he's going to have maximum HP anyways, so there we go. And we're coming up on the final floor here. Which is easy enough. Let's see how's our timeline looking. 15 minutes. That should be enough, I hope. If, if you're not sure, make sure to uh, make a se separate save file just to be on the uh, safe side. Which I'm going to do just to, just to make sure. Just to make sure. Alright, we got some treasure chests around here, so let's go start off by killing this dude. Mr. Standard Defender. He's standardly weak to water, and you can get a uh, prismatic crystal common and a flawless amethyst uh, rare from them. Again, just wipe them out with a nice fat water spell, and they won't even know what hit them. And I do believe this has a nice spell in it for us. Level 5 healers? Don't mind if I do. Thank you. I'm not sure why I'm putting this back on. It's just gotta fight these guys. Alright, the Enforcer was uh, weak to water, steal a Power Swap Dark Common, and a Flawless Sapphire from a Rare. So let's just uh, clobber him with the usual water spell. There we go. Too easy.
And there should be another enemy type up here, I think. Ladies. Right, well, we're gonna ignore you for a minute up there. And go to this guy. And we get reflect a uh, even more magic magic damage reduction, which we never actually actually use all that much, but oh well. We'll get around to it one of these days. That's not cool there, dude. Anything down here for us? Yes, indeed. This is the assassin robot, which we haven't fought yet. Uh, he's weak to water, uh, prismatic crystal common, and a flawless ruby from a rare steel. But we're not going to walk out to see that, so let's just kill him. I didn't hit I gotta love water spell in this place. Alright, what do we got here? We got. Level 5 Paralyzed spell. Nice. And that should be all the new robots around here, all the new enemies. So let's just collect our final treasure chest over here. And we get HP max up, which raises your max AP HP for the battle that it's used on. So that's really nice. Alright, and here we are. The finale of Nene's Fortress. More or less. I think that's the top floor. Is Nene there? Maybe. Playable. So you came. It cannot be helped then. We have no choice but to defeat you. But Yasato, you mean you're on his side now? Let's do it. We can't! There's no way we can fight him! Stop this, Yasato! I apologize to you. My master was very angry that I had allowed you all to escape. Master Nene has modified my system to prevent that from happening again. If you want to save Lady Kluke, it's necessary to destroy me first. We're your friends, Yasato! We can't do that! Please, destroy me! Ah, it's just like Nene to make you choose between two of your friends. Hey, check out that machine. Is it some kind of sweeper? Alright, so we're not going to actually bother targeting Yasato for right now. Uh, we're going to target the other guys in here. The, uh, let's see, we got the Servant Mecha Robos in the back. Uh, weak to water, obviously. Uh, resistance to dark as well as light. Power swap dart from a common and a flawless ruby from a rare. And then we got the Servant Mecha, Servant Mecha Robos, which, uh, let's see, weak to water, resistance to light and dark, Kelalon Powder Common Steel, Light Crystal from a rare steel. So our goal is to get rid of these guys, pretty much. And then that little thing in uh, Yosato's arms, we're going to attack that in a little bit. We have to wait for him to actually, like, uh, give us a cue to attack it. Alright, let's see. Yosato can take a pretty good amount of damage, so don't worry about, like, killing him. He should be fine. Yeah, now that the sweeper is out, we can target that. But I want to kill some of these robots here, just to make sure that I don't have my bestiary. Let me see if I can... Yeah, you go ahead and defend. 
This isn't really a dangerous boss fight by any means. Hey, it's barely even a boss fight. to apologize. Good for you, Yasato! You should leave right away. We should all go. Everyone, please hurry. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Zabo! Just leave him to me. Mano coming too! Take care of Shu and the others. Gotcha! Zoa! <laughs> Alright, we got our team at Gitchin Denny before the bomb went off. Uh, there's actually a cutscene if you don't do this, so I'm going to show that eventually. Welcome, my guests. Welcome! As a caterpillar becomes a butterfly, you too have passed through many trials in your growth. Trials? You call that a trial? Our life and death struggles are just a game for your enjoyment? You rot no good bastard! What? So now we got a uh, achievement here. We got to basically rescue Kluk before he uh, chokes the life out of her. And you're just gonna have to uh, mash whatever button they they tell you to do. Uh, let me see something here. Uh, I forget if the achievement. Let me see here. Uh, I don't think you have. I don't think it worries if you take damage, just so long as she doesn't choke to death from this thing. So we should be good for the most part. So, alright, smash the A button or whatever button shows up on screen, as well as the down button. Well, he said that he wasn't going to. Will the Nicholas sub, but he never said anything about not choking her to death. It's working! A little more! Keep pulling harder! Yeah. That's it! Just a little more! No! You 
were never meant to explode. Capturing us was your plan all along. You have all been superb. Your persistence, your bravery, are all perfect vessels with which to nourish my soul. Nourish his soul! What? I am an ancient creature. The relentless illnesses of age wreck my body. Do you understand my feelings? Others enjoy the strength and violence of youth, while I alone suffer the degradation of extreme age. Why has that fate befallen me? Why must no one else know the fear I know? It's unforgivable, unforgivable, unforgivable! Not survived, I would have got insane from loneliness. That's too bad. Time to regain power, my vessels. My vessel. I'm 
All right, another butter master achievement here to uh get rid, of, stop the squash that's off you before you take damage, and I took damage. All right, so I'm gonna let him kill me here so we can redo this because the achievements for not taking any damage, obviously. So we gotta try this again. It looks like Nenny kind of jacked our powers here, bastard. The shoe seems to still have some of his powers left. Alright, let's try this again then. I thought I was close there, but I guess not. Dude! I am mashing that button like fucking nothing there, dude. This might be one of those achievements I get off screen if we, uh, if I never actually get it on screen because this bastard. Just button mashing can be a real bastard, as we saw in Banjo Tui against Canary Mary. That cheating son of a. Alright, ready? Dude! What the hell? You see that my fucking button prop is way the fuck up there. It's all the way at the top of the bar. Eh, that's some bullshit. I'm not gonna worry about this one too much. I'll try a few more times and I'll say fuck it. Let me see something here real quick, real, fa real fast. Let's see. There's our latest achievement, which got to Nene before the bomb went off. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Wait, are you serious? Hang on. Ah, apparently the apparently the Kook mini game was for not taking any damage. Damn. I'll probably end up getting these off screen though, since. They're button mashers, and well, they're bastardly to do. And we just killed me already, dude. Dude, what the hell? I am... You know what? Fuck the achievement. I'm just gonna... Alright. Now we can attack him. So yeah. Forget exactly how this little battle plays out. Okay, stop killing me. I think, I think what we're supposed to do is defend. That's, I think that's what it was. Alright, let's uh... Was it defend or flee? I don't remember. I think. I think. What was it, man? Oh yeah, we are supposed to flee, not defend. All right. Uh, go ahead and kill me again, dude. Kill me. All right. Blood and mash. Oh. Seriously, what the fuck, dude? That is some bullshit. Why? Why has he a shadow? 
after the magical power was absorbed back into my spirit. Alright, here we go. We got disc 3 coming up. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and save. And that'll be the end of the episode. Uh, but I will have a little clip at the end showing what happens if you don't get to Nene within the hour. Let's see. Where should I save here? Um, yeah, over here, I guess. All right, and I'm going to try to get those achievements off screen since, well, it's the same thing that we've been doing, just not taking any damage from it. So, uh, guys, thanks for watching, and next time, we will start on Disc 3. See you guys later. Thank you. Playable.